so you ever do any kind of gratitude stuff? Gratitude journaling? It's something uh, I did a long time ago. I had a practice I just started picking up again. Uh, just the whole idea is manifesting uh, what you want to manifest, being grateful for what you do have, and uh, trying to visualize what you want to achieve. I like to do the thing, it's called Gratitude 10, and I just this is just kind of like my little journal. Uh, and I kind of find that like in 2021, what I'm trying to do, like what you're seeing now, what I'm sharing with the fitness and nutrition um, and just everything else as I'm going to share, like I told you in my update video, uh, I don't know, a week and a half ago or something, is uh, the, the channel is going to be, there's going to be a variety of content. Uh, it's not all just going to be fitness. I'll show you workout stuff. We'll talk about the meal prep stuff. But I also want to talk about uh, discipline. Um, I'm by no means any kind of expert at it, trust me. Like everything is, is work. Every day is work. And um, just getting out of my own way is sometimes the biggest achievement of the day. But I've been working on the whole mentality of, you know, what you track, you can change. And I'm pretty sure the first time I heard that was, I want to say it was Darren Hardy um, reading that it might have been, was he the compound effect? There's all these things, like I read so many books and I, I know of many authors and whatnot, but like <laughs> tying it all together sometimes when I'm trying to tell you in a video, I'm pretty sure it was the compound effect because there's two books, there's a slight edge and a compound effect are essentially the exact same thing. Um, just they have slightly different ways, nuances of saying the same thing, uh, which more or less TLDR is just um, small actions daily instead of like gigantic efforts, small actions daily. Uh, that lead towards your goal, right? Um, quick example, I want to learn Spanish. Um, I've got a whole like, I've got the Fluence program. It's got uh, five discs. Each disc has like 30 plus sessions each. Um, I, you know, I think about, oh, I can just sit down and like go over a bunch of sessions like in one day. But that's one of those things that's like the eat the frog kind of thing. It's just such a big deal. So it just never gets done and gets pushed off because it's just like it's so overwhelming. But the idea of the compound effect or the slight edge is just one small step, doing one session every day, every couple of days over time. And then by the end of the year, you're done. Down here by May 13th, that's gonna be day 120. And I think I did 120 as a significant day. That's not the end goal. That's just when I did this last time, I think I got in the best shape, the best balance, I would say um, day 90 to day 120. Like when I look at my old videos, my old progress stuff, I'm just like, damn, okay, that's where I wanna be. Like I had a good amount of, uh, a good amount of lean muscle, not a big dude. I think I was only like 130, 130, 135 when I got like, well, actually I'm getting ahead of myself. So at that point, I think I was closer to like 140. Um, and that was, yeah, day 90, day 120. Um, love the pictures and stuff. Like, that's kind of how I want to look. And that was also very sustainable. Like, I felt really good. Conditioned, insane amounts of energy, um, just running super efficient. I pushed it further past day 120. And that, I, I feel like I, I definitely, like, got more shredded and stuff. But I did hit a point where I hit a wall uh, nutritionally. So... Uh, that's the goal. I, I want to see kind of where I'm at around day 90 to day 120 doing what we're doing now. I feel like I'm doing it more efficiently this time since I know what I'm doing. So it might not take as long to get the body fat down. And I've seemed to have the, the muscle memories just like coming right back. So I, I've got a lot of muscle to build still. Like I, I feel pretty atrophied over just not doing anything like lifting stuff in 2020. But um, it's okay. I'm not trying to get, I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. I want to train for doing a sprint triathlon anyway. So I'm actually, I'm doing a little bit more cardio. Like I'm fitting in laps at the lap pool. We have a 25 yard, 25 yard lap pool. Um, I ran for the, like the first time, like a long distance, like, um, for a very long time, uh, yesterday. So I'm feeling that like I'm, I'm pretty sore in the legs, like especially the calves and, um, just my whole lower legs actually below the knee. A lot of the, the tendons and muscles there. Um, just weren't used to that kind of activity. 
So that's good, cross training. And then of course I do the bike. So that, and then I just do all that on top of doing my push pull schedule. I do wanna do, I think next week, I'm gonna do uh, bro splits. So basically just like one muscle group a day. Um, and not next week as far as the, um, like the actual week, like, you know, Monday through Friday or whatever. But like I was showing you yesterday, um, the next week. So I'm going to finish up this week here with, um, so today's a recovery day. We're going to do some yoga do some laps and then some more push pull stuff as we go out and wrap up this. The, like I've said before in a previous video, a previous vlog, um, I'm not following days of the week. I just, I'm doing days in my schedule. So it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. I just don't care. I'm just, what is, what I'm concerned about is filling in my workouts just consistently throughout my schedule. So I'm, I'm aiming for 30 days at a time and just sticking with it. And I'm just improving it as I go. Uh, I'm in, improving the fitness. I'm in, going deeper, uh, heavier. Like I'm just kind of adding to it slowly over time. So again, it all goes all the way back to the slight edge, the compound effect, just small activities every day that lead you forward. Um, and if you do that, if you just take that small chunk every day, suddenly, and in my own life, my own example now, I remember I was just thinking about getting this started again, thinking about I really need to write my food down, I really need to get back to my meal prep, I need to stop binging all kinds of like baked goods. And I eventually, I, I started, and now we are, we're getting really close to day 30 and it's like, it feels like it was just yesterday. Uh, it's become a way of life. And of course, now that, since I've done this before, I really went in the same way in 2019. Um, it's comfortable. So I know, I know the feeling and I know what to expect. So this time is actually better. Um, and it's very exciting. Like I'm, I'm actually honestly excited just because I personally, it's a, just a personal goal. I feel best when I'm when I'm really fit. Like I just, my overall aura, I just, it's not that important, right? So vanity to me is not like, it's whatever. You know, I, the bodies get old, they die, whatever. I'm getting old, I'm almost 37. So, um, but it's one of those things. I mean, if I can do it, why not do it? And for me, what a fit body tends to show is, or at least what I like it to reflect of me is, my ability to discipline myself. Um, I take pride in that. I really do. Like, because that's a struggle. That is a huge struggle for me. Like if, if you boiled me down and just kind of let me do my own thing and I didn't put any will, like I'm just, I would love to eat food, sit down and, and play games and just do nothing. Um, that's like the base me. So when I push myself, it feels really good. Like when I get myself into a discipline, and that's what 2021 is really all about. I've got multiple disciplines going on at the same time right now. And uh, it started with just what I've showed you, day one of the meal prep. Uh, and I've just added it over time here. Now we're getting close to day 30. I've done a few things. I'm, I'm trying to add to doing these vlogs as a, a discipline. I mean, at this point, I don't know why I can't do it daily if I keep it simple with a GoPro like this because I can just pick it up. And uh, shoot, today I'm doing a little different. So I added the light. So we'll see if that, um, I locked the shutter speed. It's, I took it off auto. Um, so we'll see if that improves or how this looks. I have no idea. Um, but that's where we're at. And again, so it all boils down to the slight edge, the compound effect. And then before you know it, you know, the years passed. Stay right there. The years passed and uh, you know, you've, you've either made it or you haven't because it goes in the opposite direction too. Um, taking no actions or taking negative actions every day will also lead to, um, you know, the slight edge. Basically, it's just saying, like, if you take small steps towards your goals over time, you'll eventually get there uh, in small increments, and then suddenly it seems like you're an overnight success, even if it took years to get there because you, you'd had the discipline to do it. And the other way around is you just, like me in 2020, and I think for a lot of people, it's just it was a real weird year for a lot of us. Um, let me know. How was it for you? How was 2020? Did you bust through? Uh, let me know in the comments, like, and just you know, be honest, it's uh, pretty off was 2020. Um, just one of those years, it just didn't happen. Um, I, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world and 
it's a weird place. Like, were you in a weird place in 2020 or did you just stick with your goals and, and continue busting through? I'd love to know. Uh, let me know in the comments. For me, uh, I slipped off. <laughs> you know, I just, uh, yeah, whatever. Here we are. I digress. Um, and that's why I like doing, I'm adding now my, I've got my little journal here. It's my Gratitude 10 journal. I'll leave you on this. So I've, I've mentioned it before in old videos, but I'll mention it in this new vlog things that we're doing here. So, and we'll talk more about the disciplines and whatever and how they're going over time. I'll share that with you. But with this thing, the Gratitude 10, uh, I like to do it in the mornings. And simply what you do is you write 10 things that you are grateful for that you have. Uh, I'm grateful that I have my house here. I'm grateful for my health um, and my mobility, that my body's able to perform and I'm able to improve and do the stuff that I'm doing. I'm grateful for having YouTube and the ability to communicate with you and, and build a community and just uh, share these things, kind of share the journey. And I'm grateful for my pups, just anything, anything at all. And you write 10 things down. And you write it with true gratitude. I tend to, like I have it off now so you can hear me, but I tend to have like some sort of chill vibe music or sometimes I'll put on some headphones and I'll put on binaural beats and just really get into like a meditative state when I can think of each one. And then, okay, so what you do is you do the first 10 that you have that you've achieved and you're grateful for. You're, I'm grateful for this. And then you go and next to them, next page, whatever you want to do, you continue and write 10 more things that you're grateful for, right? You know, I'm, I'm grateful for as though you have it, but you don't have those things yet. Those are things you wish to, that are dreams or visions that you wish to manifest or just things that you wish to see happen. You know, what? whether you say it's metaphysical and whether it actually does anything, whatever, I don't know. But if you just want to talk about the, the objective practice of it, it's keeping... Uh, it's keeping the forefront of your mind the visions that you have on a small, like on a daily basis in small chunks because you're reminding yourself daily. Uh, you can write different things, but I like to, I, I tend to focus on, like I'll do my, my 10 grateful things that I have, very. I like to just put out gratitude and really think about each thing because uh, that's important. You know, time just goes by. But the second part, um, that I tend to keep pretty, like I focus on 10 things that I really want to achieve in the near to relatively near future, like, you know, weeks, months to a few years. And I'll tend to repeat those. Sometimes I might change a few if they're not as important or that's changed or it's already happened or whatever. But I'll tend to write things that, um, like, for example, I'm, I'm grateful for my Tab CSS, the clamshell, it's the clamshell camper. So I'm grateful for my Tab CSS camper, uh, 2018 model that I've been able to uh, travel the U.S. and I've been able to visit friends and uh, and fulfill that that desire that dream. I haven't done that yet, but that is something I want to do. So that might be a, a thing I write down in my my 10 gratitude that I haven't achieved yet, and I repeat that daily. But I say it as though I have it. So the idea is just mm, really manifesting it, but not in a way that's like. You know, oh, I wish I could because I can. Like that's something that is, it's possible. Um, I just have to do the work and have the discipline to do it. So it's not a wish. It's something that I plan to manifest. Just time and space hasn't got here yet. So it just keeps that in the forefront of my mind so I don't forget the things that are important to me at the time. And that's, I recommend doing it. You know, uh, if you have, let me know. Or if you try it for the first time, let me know that as well. The thing I find interesting is I did this, I started this practice, Gratitude, Gratitude 10, in like 20, 2009, 2010. I didn't do it for a long time after, I've just restarted this, but I did it for like a year or two back, like way back when I was starting to get into Beachbody and build my life. And just, uh, you know, I was 20 something and I was really just discovering myself. And when I look back at those things that at the time I didn't have, but I wrote as though I did, over the years, I've achieved like eight out of 10, whether it was travels or certain goals. Now they're things, they used to be things I didn't have, but now they're things that are experiences that I've already had in my life. So for me personally, I tend to find that if, I, if I'm disciplined, as I'm disciplined with my nutrition and my fitness, if I'm disciplined with my gratitude or what I wish to manifest, and I'm, I'm, I take that slight edge, that compound effect daily, over time, 
it's like magic. It's like you manifest the stuff. It's like all of a sudden, uh, you're, you're like on that trip. Like suddenly, okay, here's another thing. Suddenly there's going to be one day. I mean, unless some crazy thing happens to me, whatever, that's life and whatever. But if life goes as normal and you know, nothing disrupts our world in any insane way, uh, I will be standing on an island, multiple islands, I hope, in Hawaii. That's a, a goal, a dream, something I've wanted to do. I've never been there. But that's part of my gratitude, gratitude 10 that I don't have yet. And I know someday, in the relative near future, whether it's 2021 or in, within the next five years, I'll be standing in Hawaii, in Hawaii and I'll be living it. But I'm gonna keep reminding myself because that's you know it's too easy for for life to get in the way. And if you're ADHD like me, it's easy to get sidetracked or you know start one thought and get halfway through it. <laughs> so it's important for me to have the discipline to remind myself daily in small chunks. Half an hour or less, this is done. I can do this in like 10 minutes. But I do like to write them down and then dwell on each one. Just kind of like really have gratitude for it, not just write it to like it's homework. Like write it with gratitude, with feelings, with energy. Uh, be grateful for the things that you do actually have. Um, and you can also be grateful for, this is where I'm going to leave you. You can be grateful for not necessarily things that you have. Be grateful for uh, somebody else in your life. You're grateful for your friend achieving something. You're grateful for uh, your family's health. Or It can be anything. The whole idea is creating that, that true feeling of gratitude with things that you have, have achieved, or that you enjoy in your life, and then carrying that feeling over into the 10 additional things that you haven't quite had yet. Um, I've even put in there before uh, some of my, my gratitude 10, like the things I hadn't achieved yet, was I would daily write down, this years ago, but I would write down um, that you know I'm grateful for my friend's uh, full recovery and all this stuff. Now, yeah, it's wishful thinking if someone's super sick and whatever else. Like you, you can wishful think all day long, but at the end of the day, this kind of thing doesn't hurt. And uh, so I put those things out there, and, and you know, I, friends are better. You know, things like that. Um, so you can put out stuff that you just you wish to see in the universe, that you wish to to vibrate into existence. If you want to get into meta metaphysics and vibrational stuff and frequencies and whatever, that's a whole different. Thing. I'm not talking about it in that um, esoteric way. I just mean in a practical way that keeps the discipline going and keeps the thoughts of the things you need to get done. Um, okay, so this has been a long vlog. I did not plan it to go this long, but let's wrap it up there. I recommend that. Uh, let's work on some discipline. Let me know how 2020 went if you're still here. Um, write in the comments, was it a solid year for you or was it a really friggin' weird, like just kind of off year? Until next time. <laughs>